selling your home can be a tad bit stressful. Just because it's a really strong seller's market, it doesn't mean you can just throw your house up on the market and see what happens, get this crazy outrageous price. There's really some things you wanna avoid and more important now than ever to avoid these five things so you can maximize price, maximize opportunity and have a good experience overall. So the number one thing, of course, is trying to do for sale by owner. Everyone wants to get as much money, as much equity out of their home. We know how much you love it and now is a great time. However, if all that an agent did was just put a sign on the lawn or put it online, then I would say go for it. Everyone should be able to do it. But that's not all that happens. Your agent's expertise is so valuable. It is shown that those that sell with an agent always get a much higher rate, even netted out, mm -hmm. than those that try to sell for sale by owner. Now we've got you to where, yes, you should hire an agent. Make sure you get the right agent. Do not hire the wrong agent. Look online, look at reviews, go to trusted sources, go to your friends and family and see what kind of experience they had. Ask the right questions. If they're so eager to just start with negotiating their price, what else are they cutting costs to make up? And what are they gonna do for you later when they're right. negotiating with another agent? And the other one thing I think now, especially in this market, people forget you still have to get that house ready to sell. You do, it's worth it. No matter what the market is, we're still dealing with people, right? Mm -hmm. And people need to see, it's the experience, right. right? And so when folks walk into that home, they wanna see their own family there. They wanna see themselves there. You want folks to walk in their home and say, this is where I need to be. I'm in love, this is what I want. Absolutely. And that kind of leads right into the fourth thing, which is just underestimating the cost. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you have to spend money to make money. Yep, always. And I know that's hard for some people. I know some people might not have you know, the opportunity of having some extra dollars to paint those crazy walls or put in fresh carpet. It's gonna maximize yes. you know, the experience for those buyers thus give you more offers, thus get that above even list price in many cases. Right. Those are the ones, we're not seeing multiple offers on every house, we're no. seeing them on the ones that took this extra time. So if cost is an issue for you on doing some of those items, we can help. We can help. And we've got a lot of information online about this, we're happy to have a conversation with you about it, but it's called Compass Concierge. It is unique to Compass, to Cole Team, for you, and it's essentially a 0% loan yep. you can use towards making those upgrades or small tweaks from Gosh, just even a deep cleaning to you know changing out carpet to remodeling you know, anything whatever it might be and then once you've done all those things and, and you have the right agent again it can be very easy to feel as if you've put so much money in that all of a sudden you're gonna get some triple ten quadruple it's gonna be the most expensive house that's ever sold in the history of the world yes we would love for that to happen but the reality is, is that you're still always, regardless of what the market is, that area is always going to dictate what that value of those homes are. And folks are just like yourself, just as you are a savvy seller wanting to maximize mm -hmm. your value and get the most out of that home, the buyers are just as savvy. The goal is to always have your home outshine in value, price, everything, so that it looks like the best choice compared to others, not always just the most expensive. Right, and what we try to do too is put our appraiser cap on that because mm -hmm. if there is gonna be a contingency on appraisal, hopefully there won't be, but there mm -hmm. might be. Mm -hmm. And if so, you wanna make sure you're not setting something unrealistic that's gonna be frustrating to everybody involved and can't close. So if a buyer wants to go above and beyond, then you know what, it really should be on them. Yep. In my opinion, yep. if you wanna pay above my list price, go for it. Take that risk, don't put it on my seller. So, but let's be realistic to begin with so it doesn't end in frustration, but it ends up in possibly being the best priced home in that neighborhood. Right, and this always goes back to number one. All of these things that we talk about, you need an experienced person on your side, always prefer the whole team, but an experienced person on your side who's going to help you navigate through all of this. And so as always, we do have some great information, more information on our blog that you can check out. Our website, our YouTube channel is filled with information to help educate you all and make it the best decision possible. But as always, if you or you know, someone you know is looking to buy or sell a home, call the whole team. Thanks so much, guys.